Hey there, I appreciate the comments. Um, I need to explain a couple things a little more. Okay, and I'm going to start by talking about abuse and children, and then I'll go into adults afterwards. Okay. Many times when children are physically abused by their parents, and it's not to the point of uh, them having to go to the hospital, those wounds heal quicker, more quickly than those same kids if they were massively verbally and mentally abused. Sometimes those that verbal and mental abuse can last a lifetime and they may never even fully recover from them. But the physical abuse can heal up rather quickly. This isn't to excuse any type of abuse towards children, but, you know, I'm trying to make a point here that you'll understand momentarily, or hopefully you'll understand momentarily. One of the reasons why the uh, physical abuse isn't going to have the mental effects that uh, the the verbal abuse may have may cause is that they can look back and say, "Wow, I was really treated like shit, and there's no excuse for that." When it comes to the verbal abuse. They might look back and go, well, what if it was me? What if it was me? What if I'm the cause of this? What if they treated, they did, they said these things to me because I really am what they said? And that's one of the reasons why it can take so long for that kind of damage to uh, be repaired. And why sometimes it never gets repaired. So let's go to adults now. Okay. When, when like nine-tenths of comments on someone's video are basically verbal abuse, then that person might, and especially if it's the same, if people are using similar types of insults, that person may start to question, well, what if I'm this way? At least if there if there's someone that that wants to to take constructive criticism seriously, you know, that's going to be something that occurs. They are going to question themselves. Okay. And if they don't question themselves and they look at all of it as, oh, look at look at all these people being pathetic. Well, then, when there is actual constructive criticism, they're not going to take it seriously. Then, then they'll be criticized for not taking actual constructive criticism seriously. Do, do, do you understand? Um, the more that people are verbally abused, the less they're going to consider other viewpoints that go against what it is that they said. Um, so, you know, in turn, if the only, if the primary thing that they receive every time they try to state their viewpoints is the verbal abuse, then they're not going to feel any reason to state their opinions. drives me nuts when people try to say that this verbal abuse isn't going to do anything. Well, people make videos to state their viewpoints and to possibly have conversations about it so they can further uh, their learning and maybe they can further other people's learning. But when they're constantly given verbal abuse, that's, that possibility is nullified. And I find it interesting that so many people can't seem to get that. 